Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. Postmortem number 13. We've got a dog with a live trap on its foot here. Let's watch and see how this evolves. Okay, I like the soccer net idea. I think it's a great idea. However, they have got a dog with a, a, a trap on its foot and they've got the dog running. I don't like that. That's causing further injury and trauma to that limb. Look at that. That was really good use of the snappy snare though. And I'm gonna pause it here for a moment. We can see that the dog does not have a muzzle on. This is a dog that's in severe pain at this point, no doubt. So there needs to be a muzzle on here for everybody's safety. Um, here's the deal. If you suspect an animal has rabies and it bites somebody and you don't have to time the wait for a quarantine, the end result is the dog gets killed decapitated and its head ends up in the local health department lab being tested for rabies. So put a muzzle on it. Let's get let's keep going. Look at that. Okay, right now out in the field with the muzzle on, I would immediately move that trap. I'm not taking it to the hospital to get the trap off. The trap's coming off in the field. All right, let's continue. You see that? The longer it's on, the more trauma is being caused, the less likely a limb is to be able to be saved. In this case, we'll learn here that, it, that they were able to do it after reconstructive surgery, which is lucky that the animal was able to keep the limb at all. And they're not they're not using any any progress capture devices here. Watch what happens. They I have to go back there for a moment. Okay, see how they lost it there? There needs to be progress capture on that in order to, to keep it from getting slammed back down again. That's just a, that's like an extrication one oh one item. Progress capture. So it could be cribbing in ropes. It's going to be a, a progress capture device, whatever it happens to be. All right, so they get up to the vet. Then they go to L.A., I guess. And there's some veterinarians there that, uh, well, we'll just watch it. Do some kind of surgery. I don't. Why are you blurring that out? We see blood on a, on a bandage there, on a, like a 2x2, two 4x4, two, four four, whatever. Mm. Oh, excuse me. And then there the dog is with uh, a usable paw. All right, so all's well that ends well. Let's go back here to the beginning. What I would do differently is, um, and if they're, getting the, if they're getting the dog to eat, you see how it starts to run away? Let's go back to that again. So they're trying to build up trust and get the dog to 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 come to them so they can capture it. But look at she moved even slightly towards that dog. Look, bye. So then they get this netting to try and contain it, and not everybody has the capabilities we have. However, my thought would be on this: is the instant I saw that the dog wasn't going to be captured easily. I would have either used a snappy snare right there on the spot where the food was, or I would have darted it. And um, I probably would have used Telazol because my, my, my plan right there on the spot 
would be to get it unconscious so that I can immediately remove that trap and start restoring um, adequate perfusion to that that paw there. When it, I mean, because you look look how closed the paw is. Let's see if we can go. Where's that part of the footage at? Oh, it doesn't track like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. So there's a side view of it. Um, did, I, did I skip it already? I guess I did. Right, there's no, there. there's, okay. Look how closed the trap is here. It's completely closed around here. It's been on there long enough to where I'm surprised any part of this paw, and we don't really know whether they were able to save this or if they had to amputate that part of the paw. Where was it at here? Sorry, let me just go back here because I want you. I want you to be able to see. Oh, there. That that is completely closed. There's almost no gap in between here, which I'm going to suspect that they probably had to remove that part of the foot, a portion of that paw. There. That's why I would want to remove it out out in the field and not waste any time waiting until I got to the hospital. All right. Overall, they did a good job. They captured it and. It, it was able to use its leg. I'm going to give them a four stars on this one um, because they are thinking ahead. They're trying to contain it. Uh, I wouldn't use the um, the soccer net. What I would use is that rollout construction, that orange construction fencing that you see, because you can. That's pretty long. I think they come in hundred foot lengths. Yeah, I think it's hundred or fifty foot lengths. So you can spread it out quite a distance. We use it for capturing loose, large animals out on, like, the freeway or whatever. Um, but, but I would have darted this dog. If I couldn't get it in the snappy snare, the first contact that I made, then I'd go back and I'd dart it. I'd use, um, I'd probably use a blowpipe. It looks like I could get close enough to him to use the blowpipe. Or I would use the pistol, the air-powered pistol, if that's what it came to. All right, I think they... You know, they did a pretty good job on this. They got them in. So, but the use of the muzzle is essential to uh, the safety of everybody. Uh, and if they're going to go out and do this, they, they should have somebody who's able to do chemical chemical capture. It's really a use, very useful tool out in the field. Some people in animal welfare are like, oh, that's a last resort. I don't see that as a last resort in many situations. It may be the very first thing that I think of. So, all right, take it for what it's worth. Look down below. You'll see our email address. Email us videos that you want us to analyze. Um, visit the website. Sign up for the newsletter there. It's free. Then you get all, all the notifications, everything, because it's our blog. We blog everything that we do. If we post a video, it gets a blog post, any news, updates, trainings, and then by now our merchandise should be up on the website. Go over there and buy something. Help support our efforts. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you're on YouTube, the most important thing you can do is like and share the videos. That really helps build up the algorithm so we can produce an income stream from YouTube videos to support our efforts. That's it for me, Big Boss. I'm out.